Welcome to the eighth video of Elasticsearch and Python series. I hope you have been enjoying all the videos. Uh, today, the video is based on scan and bulk API. Both scan and bulk API are very important when we want to query and process large data. So let's get started with this. To use both of them, we need to import helper class, which I've already done. Now bulk and scan API both have a lot of functionalities, but in this video, we're going to restrict on a very basic level in which we'll do bulk inserts and we'll read data via scan API. Now, when we want to use bulk inserts, uh, we have to provide iterable of data. And uh, here we have provided a list of dictionaries. If you see, actually it mimics what uh, result we get when we, when we hit uh, search API. So it's similar to that. And we need to provide some metadata of uh, metadata that was important for bulk API uh, to insert your data. So the first is like you need to provide what index uh, the data has to go to, what type uh, of document are you sending, what is the ID of uh, the document. Uh, you can also mm, ignore it and Elasticsearch will generate a random uh, ID for you. And then you have to also provide your data which will come under the source tag. Okay. So within source I have provided my data which is uh, similar to what is given in the stack overflow link. So here I'm uh, inserting any and then there is timestamp and I'm creating this list of dictionary for 100 uh, documents. So I'm also timing how much time it takes uh, to do the bulk insert so that we can compare it when we do it iteratively. Uh, before we go with this, I want to tell like using bulk API, we can do multiple operations, not just inserts. So uh, we have whatever operation we want to do, we provide it under the op underscore underscore op underscore type field and uh, we can provide either index, create, delete or update. Uh, if we don't provide any of uh, these values, it by default understands that we are doing indexing. So here like we have not provided what we are trying to do. If we wanted to provide, we could have just written underscore op uh, underscore op underscore uh, type and then we would have written index. Now, <clears throat> if you want to insert, I'll just run it for 100 documents and it took 0 0.15 uh, units to uh, to insert 100 documents. Now if you want to insert the same data uh, iteratively, that is for every we'll iterate and we'll create uh, one document and then we'll index it immediately. And if we do this for 100 documents, how much time does it take? So if you see it took total of 0 0.32 units. Now if we increase it to uh, let's say 100,000, when we do this, uh, let's see, so it took 1.5 units of time to insert. What happens when we do iteratively? Oh, sorry, I didn't change uh, the size. Yeah, so if we want to insert iteratively, you see it will take forever to insert. And that is where the bulk API gives advantage to us. There's a large amount of data that we were able to insert in no time. So I'm just gonna stop this because it will take forever and clear it. Now we have a large amount of data inserted in the index chapter eight. And if you want to read all of it, one of the classic use case of scan API is when we want to re-index data, when we want to uh, move data from one index to another index. And so we need to make an entire pass over, uh, over an index. So that's where scan API comes into picture. When we want to uh, scan, we call the scan function of the helper class. We provide the Elasticsearch instance uh, that we have created. We provide the index name, we provide the doc type and we also provide the query. So I, here I have provided a match all query. That means that I want to read through the entire data that is present in chapter eight index of type doc. And uh, I want to just read through the results and uh, print out its uh, source. So I've already done it, but I'll rerun it. So you can see how quickly is this uh, scanning happening. So two things to remember in scan API is that if you want to get sorted results, if you want to preserve the order, then it will affect its performance. And if and the performance of scanning the data is dependent on the size of the document. So here we have just two entries. So it was happening very fast. Uh, so let's say each document has a lot of data. So scanning through them will take uh, some time. Okay. So yeah, so here we can see how we can quickly scan and uh, insert very quickly. 
and uh, this plays uh, as i said earlier that it plays a great role when we want to process large amount of data and uh, we can also parallelize it but uh, let's leave it for the next video so yeah that's it for this video uh, i'll put out the code and uh, my linkedin id below as usual so that you can contact for any further questions or any help okay thank you